Michael Hart, the American author of the wide-selling book, The 100, a ranking of the most influential persons in history, chose Prophet Muhammad to be at the top of the list. He said, My choice of Muhammad to lead the list of the world's most influential persons may surprise some readers and may be questioned by others. But he was the only man in history who was supremely successful on both the religious and secular levels. It is this unparalleled combination of secular and religious influence which I feel entitles Muhammad to be considered the most influential single figure in human history. <laughs> Many international intellectuals were impressed with Prophet Muhammad's personal qualities and expressed it in their writings. Lamartine, the famous French historian, in his book The History of the Turks, said about Prophet Muhammad, If greatness of purpose, smallness of means, and outstanding results are the three criteria of human genius, who could dare to compare any great man in modern history with Muhammad? <laughs> Mahatma Gandhi, the spiritual leader of the Indian independence movement and the pioneer of resistance through mass civil disobedience, said about Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. I became more than convinced that it was not the sword that won a place for Islam in those days in the scheme of life. It was the rigid simplicity, the utter self-effacement of the Prophet, the scrupulous regard for pledges, his intense devotion to his friends and followers, his intrepidity, his fearlessness, his absolute trust in God and in his own mission. Wolfgang Goethe, one of the key figures of German literature and one of the most famous European poets who was also a painter, humanist, scientist and philosopher said about Prophet Muhammad, He is a prophet and not a poet and therefore his Quran is to be seen as a divine law and not as a book of a human being made for education or entertainment. <laughs>